Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So we are less than a week away from one of the most anticipated fights, one of the most significant fights, I should say, in recent years. Stephen Fulton versus Naoya Inoue. Stephen Fulton has so much confidence he's going to win this fight, he decided to travel to Anoe's backyard in Japan. But Fulton is not the only one with a lot of confidence in this fight. Anoe, he has confidence as well. In fact, Anoe, he has so much confidence that he admitted he has never sparred with a black American boxer. In his entire career, he's never sparred with one, which is extremely unusual, especially when you're on and always level. I mean, it's like being a professional basketball player and saying you've never played with a black basketball player before. You've never trained with one. You've never even played against one. And on top of that, Inoue just recently revealed that he doesn't even really watch Stephen Fulton's fights. He said he just watched like some past highlights of him. He said, I have only caught glimpses of Fulton's past fights through highlights. So I don't have a comprehensive understanding of his boxing style. Boxing is a sport of adaptability and I expect Fulton to adjust his approach to face me as well. Therefore, previous fight outcomes offer limited insights. Now, Nanoe is definitely right about this being a sport of adaptability. But at the same time, a lot of fighters develop bad habits. And a lot of fighters, they carry these bad habits through their entire boxing career. No matter how gifted, how talented the boxer is, this is the reason why Devin Haney was able to nail Lomachenko with perfect body shots the entire night, and there was nothing Loma could do to get away from those body shots. So once again, you have many fighters that develop bad habits throughout their entire career which is the reason why film study, especially for an opponent that you're gonna fight, is paramount. But I truly believe when it comes to Anoe, he believes that his power and his speed will offset anything that Fulton is gonna do in the ring. He also feels that Stephen Fulton is just nothing but a boxer that just tries to make it to the 12th round, just tries to win by decision, meaning he's clearly underestimating Stephen Fulton's power. Uh, not only that, I just, power don't just win fights. I'm smart. <laughs> How you think I got here? My, my skill, my mindset, my speed, my slickness. And, and guess what? Everybody say I don't got power until they get in there and, and these guys is not fighting everybody how they how they used to fight these guys. So I feel like you can't speak on power when, when everyone wear them eight ounce gloves. Everyone has power. You feel every punt. I know he would also say Fulton's key strength lies in his profound grasp of his boxing abilities. He prioritizes winning through scoring points over 12 rounds rather than relying on raw power. I acknowledge this aspect and will tailor my boxing strategy accordingly. Nevertheless, I am confident that my power and speed will disrupt his tactics. I doubt he will engage in a direct confrontation. Fulton tends to avoid exchanges while I am an aggressive pursuer. I anticipate this dynamic unfolding in the bout. And this is the reason why film study is so important when you're preparing for an opponent and not just watching highlights. Because either I know he did watch glimpses of the Figueroa fight, the Fulton versus Figueroa fight, or he just completely ignored what he watched. Because in that fight, you could see that Fulton was clearly exchanging with Figueroa almost the entire night. And he was willing to move up and wait and give Figueroa a rematch and do it all over again. The mark of a special fighter is to be able to do it all. Fight on the inside when you have to. Fight on the outside when you have to. I believe Fulton is definitely going to exchange in some real physical confrontations with Anoe. But it's going to be after Fulton attempts to completely confuse and frustrate Anoe, which would be more likely in the second half of the fight. That's when Fulton is going to put his foot on the gas and get more aggressive. By the eighth or ninth round, he might even surprise Anoe by backing him up in the fight. Inoue has so much confidence in his power that he doesn't even look at him moving up in weight as any type of disadvantage. But I do agree with Inoue to a certain extent that he will possibly be able to disrupt Fulton's rhythm with his speed and power, maybe in the first three rounds. There's no doubt about it, this is going to be a very competitive fight, and I still do believe Fulton is going to end up winning this fight. While Inoue believes that he's going to be able to offset Stephen Fulton's boxing ability, I believe Stephen Fulton's jab, his reach, his foot movement is going to be able to offset Inoue's power and speed. Let's see how it plays out next Tuesday. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. NWA Connie Corsos proudly presents the Southern Classic Litter. The breeding between Scandifio's Rambo and NWA's Nyla is confirmed. 
and pups will be here within 30 days. Get ahead of the pack by getting your application in at nwacountycorsos.com. Our pups come with a 24-month health guarantee. Contact us on any platform at NWA County Corsos. We stand behind our dogs. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, the fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called L.O. Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to LODeKey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs or defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. My name is Chris and I'm all the way here from Anchorage, Alaska at Scout Carolinas and I'm here for my second treatment of SMP. Well, I was sitting at home one day and uh, going over my Facebook page and they have different, you know, like advertisements popping up and I saw one for SMP and I saw some pictures of some guys, you know, a before and after and I was looking at that and, they, you know, it caught my attention so I Googled it. SMP, nothing showed up in my area. So, uh, you know, I did a little more research and all of a sudden, Scout Carolinas popped up in the web browser. So I started uh, watching his videos and uh, seeing all the reaction from all the other people. We talked on the phone, we made appointments and everything. I sent him pictures and uh, uh, he looked at them and I was like, can you fix this? And uh, you know, he pretty much said, no problem. My first session, uh, he made me feel extremely comfortable. Uh, it was almost like I was talking to family. He started and uh, during the whole, whole treatment, we talked and you know, about our families and our life and you know, and things that he does and things that I do. And before I know it, the first session was over. When you see someone doing something that they love, uh, as much as I see Enoch Glover love what he does, uh, it shows in his work. I wouldn't point anyone in any other direction but here to North Carolina, Scout Carolinas, to get this done.